Hello, so here's what I have for you today. These are Enterprise DSRV 16.4 engines. We have two of them in this room. Over here we have, there's the intake horn, the valve cover. Those are the head bolts. There's the injector. There's the jet cell. Some jumper tubes. There's the air start valve. So, that engine is fine. It's off season, so we're not running right now. But this engine over here, we had two broken exhaust manifold bolts. There you go. 17 inches. So two of the exhaust bolts were broken off. Since it's off season, that's the time that we get to take care of it. So, as you can see, the only way to get it out of here without taking off the entire exhaust manifold, which is water cooled by the way, the only way is to cut them off between the head and the mating surface of the exhaust manifold. And then, they're flush with the head, and we'll have to take them out that way. We could have tried doing an extraction up here, but even though there is a lot of space I can fit in there, it's not a good idea to weld and cut everything up here, so we try and keep it to a minimum. Okay, so here we have the head. It stood up on its side, so the exhaust manifold is up and the intake is down uh, just under five inches you've got all these water passages the oil passages down there at the bottom so this is where the jet cell would sit for the natural gas injector would sit in the middle and that's the air start valve down there so these are what we have, one and two, cut off flat. What I'm going to attempt to do is we're going to try and weld on a couple washers and then weld a nut on top of the washer and then we're going to try and throw a, the 2767 on it see if we can't get it off. Or we'll just twist, twist the weld off and we'll have to try again because that would prove that I'm a shitty welder. Look at this vise by the way, freaking huge vise. Anyway, let's put it in the tripod and see what we can do. The head weighs 1,100 pounds, by the way. I got a little ahead of myself here. We need a way to hold the nut down. So I'm going to put another 916 washer there. Try not to drop it into the water jacket. There we go.
So what's going on here, you could probably see it on the camera, that is at a cockeyed angle. For whatever reason, who knows, maybe the bolt is stretched weird on the inside there. So I'm going to get some vice grips and see if I can't get it to go, but yeah, so what happened is that washer was close enough that when it started to turn, it lost it. There you have it. So now we need to prep this and clean out all the threads and clean everything and check the seats, check everything, and then put it back on the motor.